Hey everyone, I'm Anna Dolosky. You know that saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Well, it couldn't be any more true when it comes to picking produce at the supermarket. In 2010, more than $30 million, and about 30% of the produce market, was tossed in the garbage. Why, you ask? Blemished produce. You know, the ugly part of the fruit. But before you toss yours, consider this. The same pathogens that affect fruits and veggies don't always have the same effect on humans. So what are those spots anyway? The spots you may notice on your tomatoes or your apples are what you should consider survival of the fittest, for produce anyway. Like humans, plants exist with millions of fungi and bacteria. Some suppress disease and help plants thrive, and others are pathogens that like to attack the produce. And after about a million years, they're pretty successful at it. But they don't quite get to us humans, especially healthy humans, because our immune systems are so different than those of the fruit. So how do they actually get to the fruit? A few ways. During fertilization, microbes can get splashed on the plant, and in a perfect storm, they attack the fruit, starting with the leaves. If you've ever seen a yellow halo on leaves of plants, that's microbes working their way to the fruit. It's called a microbial attack. If it gets to the fruit, like in this tomato, the microbes multiply and disrupt the plant's immune system, which you can see as yellow spots. The fruit is safe to eat, you can just cut off the ugly parts, and you won't compromise the flavor. So what about the mushy parts? That means the fruit was attacked by microbes after it's been picked. The microbes suck out all of the nutrients and leave the fruit looking mushy and brown. Those spots don't taste good either. You're practically eating dead tissue, but you can just cut them off. And again, flavor won't be compromised. Not all pathogens are innocent though. E. coli and salmonella can live in fruits and veggies, but they're invisible and don't cause spotting, which is why thoroughly washing your produce will help you to avoid getting sick not just tossing the freckled fruits. And here's the kicker, most of the time at the cash register, you might even get a discount for spotty fruits. That's a bargain. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website, acsh.org. Don't forget to sign up for our daily newsletter delivered straight to your inbox. For the council, I'm Anna Dolosky.